Good evening and welcome to the Selectmen's meeting for November 25th, 2014. Uh, call the meeting to order. Can I get a roll call, please? Carolyn Smart present. Colin McNabb present. And Sue Lissio is present. Could um, please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome Jody, Andy's assistant, started when yesterday? Yes. Well, welcome. Thank you. We'll try to we'll try to be, go easy on you at first. Don't talk too fast. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> don't know about that. Um, chairman's additions or deletions? I guess there's one thing that was uh, uh, just a uh, point of order, Sue. I didn't put it on the agenda because I didn't think we were going to be uh, recording tonight. But you should oh, announce yeah. that we're being we, recorded. We are being recorded. Um, sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, yeah, we have a, uh, an addition of a um, water department contract that was signed by the uh, Water Commission chairman, uh, but needs the signature of the Board of Selectmen. So I'll put that on as item 3.2 if you'd like. It is done. And then there's one other, it's not really an, an addition, it's more of a... Um, a question on a future business item. We at the meeting last week we we decided to hold another public hearing for the cable franchise agreement. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that in January. Um, I don't know if the board wants town council at the meeting. He was at the last at the hearing that we did last last year. I think it was September of 2013. Um, and. If you want him there, I just want to give him enough time so that he can free his schedule. Yeah, I would, I, would ha I would have him there. Okay. That's my feeling. I, I don't feel one way or another, except um, we're not going over the contract there, right? It's just for the public? Well, yeah, but that's part of it, is to talk <clears throat> about the contract. I don't have it. I don't, I, I'm not adverse to it. Either way. Well, Andy, why don't you see if he's available? Okay. And if not, then... We won't worry about it. I don't know what kinds of questions come up with those. And that would be my only concern. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, town administrator updates and reports. Andy, do you have anything? Uh, the only item that I've got, um, reminder we're meeting again next week. We've got a regular meeting on Tuesday. Um, the agenda is not too long. I'll have packets finished by tomorrow. Um, and then we've got the town meeting on Wednesday. We'll, we'll, I've already posted for a brief meeting on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. It doesn't appear that there'll be anything, but who knows? Something could come up. Uh, and then we're meeting again the following week, December 9th. We're doing the tax classification hearing. Um, we talked about that at the last, uh, I think, the meeting last week. And um, I'm going to at the uh, at the board's okay. I'm going to add a um, another item to sign the paperwork for a borrowing that we're doing. This is for the uh, uh, the bond anticipation note for the hundred and fifty thousand dollars that we borrowed back in June for uh, for road work. So that will be uh, that will be all done. We've been finance teams been working on that with our financial advisors. So um, it'll be. Uh, Pretty straightforward. They'll uh, they're planning to advertise next week, and um, we'll have bids in hand by the um, by the ninth. Okay. Take about five minutes. Um, question on the meeting on the ninth. Mm -hmm. What time does that start? That's at six o'clock. Could could you just go over these again? I want to make sure that I have them because I have a ton of other meetings too. Um, sure. <clears throat> we have the second, the third, and then followed by town meeting. Um, then we have the ninth, right? Correct. Okay. And then we go back to the 16th to a, regu a regular meeting. That's correct. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Carolyn, you had a question? 
Yeah, on the borrowing for the 150, aren't we paying off a portion of that on the town meeting warrant? So we wouldn't be borrowing the whole 150, right? Correct. We're borrowing 100. Yeah, we're paying off 100, uh, paying off 50 rather, um, and borrowing. Uh, Borrowing the uh, the difference, the hundred thousand. And no, would it be? I'm sorry. And and which meeting did you want to discuss that at? That would be on the ninth. Okay, that's fine. Are we going to advertise to wrap in the borrowing for the items you have purchased, so you don't end up with a little short cash flow? Um, no, I talked to our financial advisors on that, and um, their recommendation is to is to finish the purchases. Um, some of them we've had, like for some of the trucks, we've had trouble finding the trucks. So we haven't made all of the purchases yet. So we'll do something early in the year on the uh, on the main capital borrowing. You don't think that'll affect our cash flow? Or anything? No, no. no. Uh, okay. Kate has been managing that, so cash flow has not been an issue on that. All right. Anything else? Nothing else. Um, no, nothing else for me. Okay. Go Thank to selectmen. Any announcements, updates? I, it's off meeting, so I didn't have any prepared, but I did have a question while I was thinking of it. Did we get the roof fixed over next door? Oh, we did. We had um, we had a contractor come in today oh. and uh, did a, uh, a Band-Aid repair on um, on the roof. We're, um, you know, we're not sure how long that's going to last, but we think it'll get us through, or we're ho hopeful that we'll, it'll get us through the uh, through the winter until we can do something more permanent. It's difficult because it's a, a slate roof. It's, um, you know, you can't just peel up the shingles and, and weave in some flashing or leave, weave in some uh, rubber mem membrane. It, membrane. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit more involved. So um, it tends to be sort of a, a hit or miss, but um, they were confident that they got the areas that uh, were problematic. Okay. Uh, while we're speaking of the next regular meeting, um, well, the next regular meeting is next week, right? Yes. The one thing that I would like on that agenda, if you would, is for us to resume discussion on goals. Yes, I added that. Uh, okay. I added that on right. the agenda. Um, anything else? Okay. Appointments and hearings. We have none. 3.1, special town meeting, review, discuss, and finalize the following articles. Um, Treasure collector staffing, budgets, job descriptions, building department wages, compensation plan, other appropriations. And I'm not sure compensation plan really needs to be on there for this one. I mean, that's a that's more discussion for budget. Uh, the question is, you know, do you want to fund it now so that it would be in place for uh, the budget discussions later this year for fiscal 16? Oh, or so you, you were could... talking about that that miscellaneous article yes yeah okay okay did you want to start us off Andy um, sure we um, we left off or we uh, sort of left carried over the uh, treasurer collector staffing um, <clears throat> I put in front of you tonight the, the memorandum with the spreadsheet that I presented last week. Um, again, this is the same staffing plan that we've been talking about since uh, I think the first, the first dis discussion goes back to around June. Uh, HRS, our, our uh, compensation and classification plan consultants, reviewed the positions at play here, the treasurer collector, the combined position, the department assistant and the collections clerk, and classified those, uh, each of those positions. Um, we put together numbers for the supplemental appropriation to cover us for the remaining 31 weeks of the fiscal year. And it comes to, uh, it all totaled 22,000 837. Um, proposing to pay for that out of what we refer to as raise and appropriate, the, the tax levy. Um, Kim Fales was in uh, last week for her, her last day and um, recalculated the raise and appropriate level and we have, uh, we have more than enough to, um, to pay for that within the uh, raise and appropriate and we'll have uh, 
we'll have uh, plenty left over after um, after town meeting no matter really what we do with uh, with the articles in front of us tonight um, so it's um, again it's the it's the combined treasurer collector the department assistant and then the the uh, which is a 30-hour position and then the collections clerk which is um, proposed as an 18-hour position um, how much addition because you sent me an email what yesterday it was three hundred dollars left in our raise and appropriate Has <clears throat> that changed again uh, yes um, there were some uh, additions that that Kim had put in on the revenue side which I was um, not including when when I did that calculation last week so the total raise and appropriate available is eighty seven thousand eight sixty five of which we hold back uh, 42841 as the reserve excess levy, which goes back to a, a, mm -hmm. an issue with the tax override uh, many, many years ago. So it leaves us with a total unreserved excess levy of $45,023. Where were these additional revenues located? Um, some was new growth, some was um, changes in uh, cherry sheet offsets. Some uh, local receipts. Um, I had calculated the Dunstable contribution differently than she had, so she had a, a different number than I did. So, um, so she came up with the uh, she came up with that revised number. Um, I trust her talents. Yeah, you won't be question. hurt if we go with her number. <laughs> no, nope. If, if that's the case, I would definitely want to fund Janet's position out of raising appropriate versus free cash. I would have no objection to that. Which one are we talking about? The 4200. Originally, we were going to do it out of free cash because we didn't have enough raising appropriate. The building inspector, the okay. uh, building department wages. Okay. You really don't want to have reoccurring with free cash. I don't have a problem with that. I would like a copy of that. Though. Colin? Um, on the collector's office I I did have a couple reservations initially especially with that the collections clerk um, but since it's a temporary position now that satisfies me on that um, and I did go down and speak to um, the women in the collections office uh, the ladies down there and you know they convinced me that there's the need for the additional staffing yeah I, I mean I I personally have been convinced that we need something at least temporarily um, until things um, stabilize, until we get um, more folks used to using the lockbox as, as a, a way to do things. And as we continue to collect uh, back taxes from folks, um, because that's all kind of causing a, a bubble too in work and um, and I think that that'll give us the ability to say all right once that levels out then then exactly what are our needs okay um, it's it's also going to give us some opportunity Andy what's the what about the collection for the water for the audit thing um, yeah that that's um, sort of contemplated in this uh, as well, the water department is is moving to a lockbox system. Um, they hope to do that for the January billing cycle, and um, and then um, probably, well, we haven't we haven't worked out the the final details of moving water collections from the water department over to uh, to town hall, but that would happen, I would say, no later than July 1st of 2015. So certainly the, the lockbox will be a big benefit to them. Um, looking at just some rough numbers this evening that I got from uh, the collector's office, it looks like about half of the bills that would had otherwise been paid either by mail or by walk-in on the tax side are now being paid through the lockbox. So that's a great that's a great benefit. It's not without work on the on the staff side, we still have to we still have to process that, put that information in. But um, it does save on the on the uh, 
on the walk-in traffic side of things. So, um, and and I think to to uh, the point that Colin made, it, it may be that in a year or um, or thereabouts that we don't need that 18-hour slot, and then um, you know we we uh, just uh, eliminate that. Eliminate that position if there's uh, not enough work. question? Yeah, about the water department collections. Um, I had assumed that instead of giving it to someone, that you were going to have the clerk who does it at the water department come over and take that over, since she's already paid for it, and that's her rating, and it's a union position. So if you're going to give that job to someone else, <coughs> isn't that good? You will have to do a, a renegotiation on, well, on the step and the job with the union. No. 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 That position was not part of. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Go ahead. Um, that position was not part of the union. The union covered the uh, two water techs and the office administrator. Yeah, but that's the main job of the office administrator. That's why she's rated a four. Well, for a lot of reasons, she's she's. In no, she doesn't. She, her response, she has no supervisory position. Correct. It was because of the responsibility of handling money. I think that, um, I, I, you know, I mean, you're bringing up questions that obviously need to be discussed. And well, I, I just want to avoid trouble down the road and have somebody well, expecting not, something and not being able to be right, satisfied. But, but the only just, reason that I brought that up was that plays a part in what we're doing here mm -hmm. and we have a temporary position here okay mm -hmm. so it's it's still in process and obviously if it's not going to be until probably the new fiscal year it's it's part of the budget discussions that we'll be taking yeah Karen? Well, I, I had said last time to, to Colin's point about the temporary employee. Temporary employee is defined as eight months or shorter, and you'd still be required to pay um, unemployment on them after that. So, I don't I don't agree with a temporary employee looking long term. But to to go back to all the questions I had, we got the job descriptions in the emails, um, and I looked them over, and I have numerous questions. Um, one of which is on the town treasurer collector. Two years ago, the town treasurer and the tax collector, their job descriptions were done. And some of the duties that were in the original descriptions aren't even incorporated in here. But just there, there, are, there are just some grammar and typographical errors, like the new job description for town treasurer collector has T2. Well, she's recommending that it's a T9 now, whereas two years ago, she recommended a T8. I can't see where there's any changes in that job that would reflect a higher grade level. To go back to your to your thought, um, Sue, too, on um, you know restructuring down there for for the tax collector treasurer's office. If you looked, did you get a chance to look through the mm -hmm. job descriptions? There's no clear delineation between your department assistant and your assistant tax collector treasurer whose primary responsibility it is. They have the same duties in each job description. So who's ultimately responsible? And how do you differentiate the, the grading from a four to a three when they have the same duties? And in fact, the uh, um, new department assistant has duties put into her her job description that make no sense to me at all, like maintaining workers' comp files and li insurance files and medical files. That all belongs in the selectman's office. So, you know, before I would even consider going along with the additional staffing, all of these job descriptions would need to be straightened out. And I can make a list. I mean, I've cross-compared. I don't know how much time you want to spend on it. We can go I through don't. all of them. Um, um, and, and furthermore, I, I looked at that and I said, it looks like what they did was make sure that anything they could possibly ask them to do in the course of their duties was included in there. And that's absolutely so, okay, but it's not their primary responsibility. So you can say duties as as falls may be asked or however you want to word it, it's common in most job descriptions, but you don't have a person that's responsible. And so how do you I, separate I the difference the, in pay? Oh. Equal Equal pay for equal work. So if you have equal responsibilities in the job descriptions, how do you say, okay, one person gets a higher level? I didn't look at them level. as equal. I um, the, other, the other thing, too, to go back to the grammar and, and you know, in the assistant tax collector treasurer, she's supposed to follow the town rules of the town of Bolton. 
Um, so there's a lot of problems in these. I, I was not impressed, to say the least. And I definitely, I, I said from the beginning I would support the tax collected treasurer. I don't support bringing it up the whole grade. It's the same responsibilities that have always been there. Um, and the department assistant and the assistant tax collector, I do not support the collections clerk. That would give us more staffing in this town, in that office, than any community around us. And that's true with Beth Ann's results in the survey that I did. Um, also, you if did you did a survey, yeah, when we had that meeting a couple of months ago when we first brought it oh, up, that's right. You yeah. did a survey, yeah. And um, so I, I, I don't, you know, I would support, like I said, the department assistant. I wouldn't support the collection clerk, but we need to do some work on these job descriptions. And I would not support the increased in grade level. Colin. I already gave you my opinion. Okay. Um, I'm fine with it. Um, why don't we just do a motion? And I would expect that the department head, which would in this case be the treasurer collector, if there were any typos or things that needed to be adjusted like that in the job description, that's really the department head and Andy's job. So I'm not going to get into nitpicking that. I have no problem at all with the levels. I have no problem at all with the amount of money that's that's being asked for. Okay. Yeah, if there are typos, I'd, I'd, I'd be happy to. Um, I'd love to look at them and see what um, what they are, and we'll correct them if they're wrong. I, I mean, the job descriptions are not clear. Who is responsible for what? And under the, when you pay, you have equal pay for equal work. You need to know who's responsible and who assists. I mean, that's just common sense. Um, was there anything in particular about it? Oh, yeah, the the job description. I kind of highlighted several areas. It's just that I don't know if you want to get into the specifics of them. Well. Yeah, there appears to be more responsibilities too. The other thing to the department assistant job than in the assistant treasurer tax collector. I know that's not the intent. And I think you had said, Andy, that you were going to leave hers alone. Did you have HRS review that one? We didn't because we didn't change it. You didn't change it. So she, she would be the second in command, so to speak, because she's responsible for the tax collector treasurer if, if they weren't there to fill in, and then the department assistant would be under her. So you need to have a hierarchy of duties and who would be responsible for them. Um, okay. I mean, they're I all hear, responsible for saying, doing the books. They're but all I'm responsible. I'm not going to get involved in the administrative stuff. I'm, I'm simply not. Andy, did you have something? Yeah, just to, just to comment on that. Again, if there are, if there are typos, typos happen. Um, so um, if you give them to me, we'll, we'll correct them. Um, in, terms of the, in terms of the pecking order of the department, the hierarchy of the, uh, of the order, the, um, the classification of the positions establishes what the uh, what the hierarchy is in the department, and um, and again we we sent this out we we intentionally I intentionally didn't suggest that we do this in house because um, you know because I would expect that um, it would be easily picked apart. We hired you know we hired the the firm that did the original comp and class plan. Um, one of the only firms that does this work in Massachusetts, uh, a firm that is eminently qualified to do the work and highly respected not only in Massachusetts but uh, throughout the country in, in doing this kind of work. So um, I'm not saying you should agree with everything they do, but, um, but it is what they do for, for work. Mm -hmm. They do almost nothing but compensation and classification plans. Um, they wouldn't have classified the positions the way they did if they didn't think that the job descriptions uh, merited the, the classifications. Carol? So then how is it two years ago it was a grade 8 and this year it's a grade 9 with absolutely no additional responsibilities? Andy? Um, there are additional responsibilities because it was an 8 when it was just the town treasurer. It's now a combined yeah. and you have you have all of the duties of both positions in one person. No, actually, she did two different job descriptions, mm -hmm. and they're both TAs. Right, but they were in, they were different 
they were held by different people. Y yes, I understand that, but they're still all the same duties. It's just that one person has more hours and only one person's going to be doing it. So if, just like with Kathy Rosbeck, she still did both jobs. They just weren't officially combined. Correct. Um, but none of the duties have changed. And this was just done two years ago. Um, and, and the salary survey she did was just two years ago. So, Colin, can, I, I mean, We've talked about it for a few minutes, and everybody said what they think, so. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm ready for a motion. How do you want this done? Yeah. Actually, speaking of that, I was at the Finance Committee meeting, and they wanted to know what our votes were on the articles, just so you knew. It just made me think of it when you asked for a motion. Where what? How our votes on, I'm sorry, Andy, you were there, um, the, the votes on all the articles, and he had said we hadn't actually voted on any of them, so it's good that you're having the votes. I didn't know if we needed to do any other ones. Do you recall? Or was it just this? Um, I think it was these three articles. Okay. So, the one for the three positions, mm -hmm. how do we need to word that in? Um, I would say that, that it would be a motion to, um, to support the, the proposal that's been put, put forth with a total appropriation request. Of 22, uh, 22 eight, 837. Okay. Can I get a motion? So. Mm -hmm. I move that we support the Treasurer Collector's Office supplemental appropriation in the amount of $22,837. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? Andrea? N not discussion, just a question. Sure. Is, um, when you mentioned the proposal put forward, the people are not going to have a proposal that was put forward. Are you going to have it available at town meeting? We can. Or something. I mean, you, you'll you get questions and you may get people who vote against it because they don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, we, we, we said, oh, sorry. That's Go a ahead. good suggestion. Thank you. So, yeah, I, I think that's, I was just going to say that the, I think that's a great suggestion because yeah. then, I mean, we're basically leaving it up to town meeting to decide, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Um, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Two ayes, one no. And just, and just so I can clarify, my no vote is not because I don't want town meeting to decide. I believe they should decide. My no vote is because I do not agree with that proposal. And the, all the staffing down there, and the cost. Okay, what's next? Building um, department wages. Which article is this one, Andy? Uh, that's uh, building department wages is Article Eight. And the amount? Is 4200 uh, At the previous meeting, the meeting last week, I was, uh, I was recommending at that time that we do it as a transfer out of, out of the insurance budget. Um, however, where we have uh, additional funds available in the raise and appropriate, um, then I would suggest that we do it, as Carolyn mentioned earlier, we do it as a raise and appropriate rather than as a transfer. Okay. So the dollar uh, amount doesn't change. We want to vote on this. Vote to support. That's fine. Could I get a motion? Um, move to support article. I don't have the warrant for Article yeah. eight. In the amount of forty two hundred dollars. For the purpose of supplementing the building department budget? Second. And do you want through raise and appropriate on there? Yeah, it has it on the article, so. Right. Second. Been moved and seconded. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No, and, and again, if I could explain, because I would be consistent, I didn't agree with, with the um, high step level and approving something we didn't have the money in the budget for. We have Back the in July. In the budget now. And that's why we're appropriating it. We, we gave her more salary on the July 31st meeting. We gave her more salary than what was budgeted for, which is why it's on the warrant now. So I just, it's just process for me. It's nothing against the person. Okay. And <clears throat> compensation plan, Andy. Yeah, so the last item is uh, is Article 11, which was that uh, it was that catch-all article that we left in there. Um, and we had talked about a couple of potential uses in that. Uh, the um, if we wanted to put money aside for funding for the pipeline and um, and then the, the compensation um, discussion came up. Um, there is a, uh, a proposal in front of you tonight from HRS. I received it, it was in my uh, inbox this morning. And this is to, to update the compensation schedule. Um, if you go to the, the last page, page 11 of 11, the uh, total amount is $4,500. And exactly what would we get for that? Um, well, they would, they would do a, um, an analysis of, um, of our salary and wage scale, our salary schedule. Um, they would do a, um, a survey looking for information from other communities. They also look at information that they've been able to, that they've collected over, over many years of doing uh, this kind of work. And um, it, it would be similar to what they did three years ago when they did the compensation. The original one. When they did the original one, they'd look at, mm -hmm. I would expect that they would look at the, uh, at the same communities, same types of communities. Um, see what um, how those positions are class uh, are uh, compensated in in those uh, communities and update the schedule as as they uh, see fit as, or as they deem appropriate. So, Andy, it was done three years ago. Is it the last time this was these numbers are from? Um, yeah, I'd have to go back. I I think it's probably April of 2011 when they. Um, um, when they did the survey. Right. And um, is this something that we can hold off on till Tuesday to talk, to decide on? Um, you sh yeah, you certainly could. Um, uh, understanding that you only received the, um, the proposal tonight. Right. I just, I don't, I, I just don't know. Well, if we hold off until Tuesday, um, that means, I mean, what does that mean for the town meeting? Well, the, the article is still there. We would just, we wouldn't be able to finalize the motion. Um, but, you know, we can do the, we can finalize that motion on, on Wednesday um, to insert, either insert that amount or say, take no action on the article. Yeah. Um, the, the only reason that I would entertain this is um, that the economy has changed a bit and what we've been seeing is that um, salaries are a little bit more than they were a few years ago. Um, I don't, it makes it difficult, you know, because then we could end up being short if we have an open position, mm -hmm. um, if we're not, you know, if we're not keeping up with the market and someone resigns um, and we have to fill it, you know, we, we've got situations where we've just been looking at recently where 
we don't have that kind of money, mm -hmm. but that's what the market is is getting right now. Um, so that's that's the only reason that um, that I would think about that. Um, Carolyn, I, I completely understand. I think it's good to be forward thinking. You know, be concerned about being competitive in the market, but. With this plan for the tune of what, $4,200, she's basically doing a salary survey. Um, and we have access to all that information, Sue. We belong to the Mass Municipal Personnel Association. You can look up salary ranges for every community in the state. If I was going to spend any money, which I'm not inclined to do, me personally, I would want to know the total cost. Uh, package, for example, maybe Shirley is paying, you know, an employee fifty thousand dollars, but their health insurance split is sixty forty. I would want a benefit analysis included in that because there's not a lot of communities that are at eighty five fifteen, and that's a substantial amount of money. You got to look when you look at an employee, you got to look at mm -hmm. the total package. Mm -hmm. So just to go out and do a salary survey, which is basically what this is, we can do at no cost um, well it's it's still going to be a cost I mean we still have to figure I mean out we who's could do, it. do it yeah it Andy can I mean we have anybody can have access to that information pick 10 towns and you know see what their salary ranges are I mean um, you bring you bring up you bring up something you know what what we're saying is, or, or what I'm hearing you say is um, we could do that internally that kind of a survey mm -hmm. which I know we can do Okay, the reality though, and that's why I asked for the goals to be on the next agenda, is that I think I'm concerned that we're losing focus on, on what our priorities are, mm -hmm. okay? And what I don't want to have happen, and, and I'm concerned that it might be, is we get sidetracked and we have limited resources and we need to make sure that we as a board focus our resources on the things that are important. And there were some important things that we identified when we started that goals process that we have not had an opportunity to really give direction for and, and make happen. Mm -hmm. You can't just keep, we can't just keep saying, oh well, you know what, instead of doing this, we'll give it to Andy and Jody to do, okay? It, it, because it means that the time that they're spending needs to go on this instead of something else. And I'm just not sure that that's putting good money to good money, you know? I, that's, I, I, think, I think we're getting kind of scattered. I think we're trying to do too many little things um, on our own and, um, and we're losing focus and Colin, Colin had his hand up. I'm um, sorry. That's okay. Do you know, and maybe you know Andrea, is the is the FinCom meeting this week? Yes. You are? No, well, not this week. Next week. Next Tuesday. 30 minutes before the, um, the town meeting because everything is going so to the very last minute that um, what you say and do tonight is something we have to vote on it. At so you're meeting time. Tuesday, not, yeah. tell me it's on Wednesday, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I mean, in fairness to the finance committee, I, I think we should we should make some kind of a decision on this. See, I mean, philosophically, do we want this to happen? Do we want to postpone it until later, mm -hmm. or figure out a way internally to do it? Well, actually, uh, I don't. Andrea. One way or the other, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Unless you're going to have an article to raise the money for it, or whatever. It's not Budget a time. matter for us. Uh, once you decide to raise the money, yes, but whether it's now or whether it's later, it, it, that technically doesn't make any difference to us. I, I was, what I was getting at was, are we going to put it in as, as part of that article? Carolyn? Well, that was another point that I that I wanted to bring up. He wants to include this in the budget article. This isn't a, really a budgetary matter. Um, That's what I thought too. Long. It's it's an article matter, not. I don't think it's illegal for us. To, what would you be doing? Trying to put it in the selectmen's expenses, Andy? Mm -hmm. um, but it, it really is is not a budgetary item. Um, I mean, we can table it, Andy. Yeah, I I, I think it it's um, it's easily a 
a budgetary item. You could certainly do it as a standalone appropriation, which is what we did when we did the compensation plan. But we do have a professional services line um, that um, that this would appropriately fit into. The other consideration that I would throw out there for the board is if you put it in the operating budget uh, and you and you do it at the town meeting next week, the money is there if you choose to move forward. Just because the appropriation is made doesn't mean you have to go forward. So if you want to if you want to, you could ask for the appropriation. If it gets approved over the coming weeks, you can chew it over and decide, you know, is this the best way to expend these funds? If you decide not, then nothing happens to that. It, it goes away, it becomes free cash at the end of the fiscal year. I but mean, it, that, you keep your options kind of, open. That kind of makes me think of um, uh, another option. Um, being concerned as as I am about focusing our resources, um, perhaps we could entertain hiring a, a attempt to assist with something like that, the survey thing too, um, for a lot less money, um, you know, and, and administer that that way. So there's more than one option, yes. I don't know how to say this. I'm going to be really delicate, um, so please no, don't. don't take it the wrong way. Um, I was in this office almost 12 years, and I served as the acting town administrator. The fact that it might be difficult, they don't have enough time to look up salaries online in a manual seems absurd to me. And I don't Carolyn, mean that as disrespectful, Carolyn, but that's just that's not too what much. I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. We have a list of priorities that the three of us started working yeah, on that we have not had a chance to get back to and and be more clear about what do we really want to have happen we've been going back and forth not getting an awful lot done i feel as though we've been treading water and okay now part of that has to do with the resources that we have available if we have those resources running around putting out fires, doing this, doing that, you know, go here, go there, do this, do that, on a meeting by meeting basis, we're not focusing those resources on those priorities. That's what my concern is. <coughs> there's a, there's a, a finite amount of time and we have to choose very carefully how we want to direct that time. So again, I'm trying to be delicate. Um, most of those goals that we had are processes that are already in place that have fell by the wayside over the last three years. Um, they need to be reinstituted, and the people that work here need to be held accountable for following them. Uh, Carolyn, so, you know what? <laughs> you could disagree, but we need to be respectful to each other about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I'm. Um, it doesn't mean that I agree with you because I come from a place of experience. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say something and I'm I'm not going to be as delicate as I would like to be because it's simply not who I am. I am concerned about something mm -hmm. and I've been hesitating um, to say it. Okay. But I am concerned that our newest member of the board is dangerously stepping into a role that is not the Board of Selectmen role. We are not mayors. You are not a mayor. I am not. Colin is not. Mayors run a town mm -hmm. or a city. Mm -hmm. We do not run the town or city. We hire Andy and department heads to do those that everyday work. It is prohibited by our charter for us to be involved in day-to-day -day administration. and. I am really concerned because I think that sometimes, because of your background, mm -hmm. you have difficulty separating that out. I, I'm trying to help you come to the place where you're at more like a 75,000 foot view of the town, and instead of getting in the nitty gritty. Okay, so that's my response to what well, actually, to what Sue, you said. I can I, I understand what you're saying, but I completely disagree because I do come place experience and I know what other boards of selectmen did. We are ultimately responsible. We hire Andy and we give him policy direction to run the town. 
um, at no time have I ever tried to step past that. But these, we are responsible for this office. And if it's not producing, then we have a problem that needs to be discussed. Well, I think that now what you're talking about is dangerously close to having an evaluation without notice. You brought this up. Notice. No, no, no. So I am I not talking just, about employee evaluation. I'm talking about things getting accomplished. And that is our responsibility. Colin. Can we move on, please? Yes. <coughs> I want, oh, Sue. So compensation plan. The compensation plan, I'm not, I not need ready. more time. I'm not ready to vote on it. Okay. I, I mean, we can put it on for next week if you want to, or we can simply table it. I would assume, I'd, I, I just need to think about it. Can we put it on for next week? Sure. I just need to think about it. I'm not sure. It's fine with me. Okay. Anything else, Andy? Other appropriations? Um, no, I don't think. Um... I have a question. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with our infrastructure. And I know we put aside some money and. Um, you know, for the highways to trying to get a handle on, on what's going on with roads, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Are we missing the boat by not having brought that up at this meeting? At the town meeting? Mm -hmm. In terms of um, appropriating more money? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, somebody was asking, you know. It, it, because of the free cash that we have available? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's a, it's a fair question. Um, and, and free cash is <clears throat> it's a topic that um, is, um, it, it's a bad, it's, it's a poor term. Yeah, you know, it's it's a lot not of, free, I it's know. It's not free and it's not cash is, is kind of the, the running joke. Um, the, um, if everything gets approved that's, that's before the town meeting. We'll carry forward about um, about four hundred and thirty thousand dollars in free cash. That remains available for the remainder of the fiscal year. So if we get to, I think I mentioned this at FinCom last week. Um, I apologize if I mentioned it here before. Um, you know, if, if notwithstanding what tomorrow's forecast calls for, but if we get through the winter without a terrible snow and ice deficit. <clears throat> exactly, bang away. Um, you know, and, and we get to town meeting, we still have that 430,000 in free cash minus whatever we have for a snow and ice deficit. At that time, we might say, let's, let's put $200,000 in cash towards roads or let's pay off and that, that, was my thought. that bond. Okay. Um, you know, we've got, we've got flexibility uh, that lasts through the remainder of the fiscal year. <clears throat> Along that lines, I don't know if you're Andy. No, are we going to have any cuts in our Chapter 90 from the 9C? Because I saw a Chapter 9, some of them in there. And I didn't know if it was related to municipalities or not. They were no, there's um, there's no. Uh, I haven't seen anything about cuts to Chapter 90. Chapter 90 is funded through the transportation bond yeah. bill, not through the operating budget. Yeah. So, uh, in fact, I was reading today that uh, Governor Elect Baker is standing by his um, his campaign. Uh, pledge to release the remaining hundred million dollars of chapter nine. So we might get a supplementation. So, that um, so that would be that would be great. great. I think that would give us another two hundred thousand. Because Governor Patrick had held back like three hundred million or something. Correct. Like yeah, that, he had right? he had held back uh, a sizable amount both in um, I think both in fifteen and in fourteen. So uh, so Governor Elect Baker seems prepared to release that additional. Uh, that additional money. I think it's about 200000 for us, but don't, please don't hold me to it. Um, but again, if we, if we get you know, to annual town meeting, nothing prevents us from, um, from, from uh, you know, well, adding more a, money. I, I hear the, a lot of folks in town, they're so glad that 119 got done, that you know, yeah. Emory is done. Um, and I think they're realizing, wow, that really does make a big difference. Yeah. You know? um, related to that, Ed, 
uh, Kukla will be coming in with uh, with his consultant, I think, in January to talk about the pavement management Excellent. plan. One of the drawbacks of of what we've done this year with the appropriation that uh, that we put forth, the additional um, pothole repair money that we got from the state, and the and the Chapter 90 money that we got from the state, and Mass Highway paving 119 is now people go. Wow, that road's great, and that road's great, and that road's great. What about the is rest? Is my road next? Exactly. You know, or what road is next? So yeah. there's a. There's but a I mean, I think it's okay. But I think it's just it. It's just showing folks progress. It really yeah. does look nice. It it's nice to drive on, and um, yeah. and it's making them want more. But. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's you know there's um, Might be a good time to expectations get raised, and and hopefully right. we can keep up with that. Right. So. Andrea. Um, could I go back to the articles, please? Um, could we just make sure that we're done with this other appropriations discussion? We're all set. That uh, that article then, unless we decide to put that forty-five hundred dollars in, we're pretty solid, mm -hmm. right? Are there other articles that we need to um, vote on? Um, the, the board has pretty much, what I told the finance committee the other night is that the, even though the board didn't vote formally on the articles, that, well, if you want a formal vote, that there, were not, um, there were not lingering questions out there. So um, if you would like to, I think, that, I think that would sort of close the loop and eliminate any, any um, consternation or uh, concern that the finance committee might have. I mean, the way that I'm just a whole again. Yeah, I mean, could, the, way, sure. the way that I've looked at it is if we've, if we've approved it being on there, mm -hmm. then... <coughs> yeah, well, yeah that's what I would, too. Yeah. 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 Did you have another question, Andre? Yes. Um, on article, the, te the treasure collector of the free cash, where's the money going to come from that? For the treasurer collector appropriation, it would come from raise and appropriate. Oh, that one changed too. Okay. Yes. Yep. So that one in the building department wages will both be out of uh, raise and appropriate. Oh, good. I like that better. Um, and then um, article the article eleven. There are only two possible things that are going to be in there. Correct. The the comp plan and the salary survey. Uh, well, they're one the and the same. Oh, they're yeah. one and the same. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't really. So it's possibly forty-five hundred. Okay. And that money will come from free cash. Um, we could do it either as free cash or raise an appropriate. I guess where it's a one-time expense, I would recommend free cash, unless the board prefers otherwise. It's fine. So do you have what you need for your get together? No, and then I just have one question that's regarding the warrant, but it's away from this. I was told uh, at the FinCom meeting the other day that Chief said that he was to be out of the building um, January 1st. And they were going to do some controlled fires trainings, and then it would be torn down the last week of January. Mm -hmm. But I was told today they had to be out the first week of February, and it would be torn down the last week of February, and um, we still don't have a, even uh, uh, a temporary plan, a proposal plan. Do you have any more information regarding that? I haven't. Uh, the last that I heard when I spoke to the chief was that it was going to be a January 1 move out and mm -hmm. demolition before the end of the month. No, he, 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 so things he, might have changed. Um, oh yeah, you well, know, with the contractor or this person <coughs> the, um, was told us by the chief yesterday. The buildings are the only thing is, um, I would think when we were going to town meeting that the public would be interested in seeing some sort of plan or having something more defined than just words for them. It, it's a real positive step in getting something passed if you have a plan to present or a prospectus or something and that was all I was hoping you would, you know that something had come in maybe it will before town meeting yeah yeah the, the chief had put together a, uh, a breakdown of 
of the um, <coughs> of the costs associated with this. Um, yeah, we could. I guess we could include that in the in the packet as well, if the board if the board would like. Um, you know, yeah. this is this is the ideal kind of thing um, that that PowerPoint presentations um, benefit from to be able to put information up on the on the screen um, rather than you know making copies that may or may not be read or, or even needed well, I think people like um, both yeah um, but uh, we can certainly include the uh, the chief's breakdown are you are you planning to are you suggesting having a PowerPoint uh, no I'm not um, I think it's I think it's a worthwhile discussion to have going forward but it's a discussion I think that that needs to uh, to include the moderator and um, because it would it would probably require some changes in in the layout of the of the room because the um, I think as we've seen over the in the past um, the projector tends to come right up through your eyes as you're sitting at the, at the table there so um, just something to chew on for the future but if you could include that mm -hmm. as well anything that that provides more backup information for the voters I think is is good to include do you want the um, do you want the IT oh, yeah. proposal mm -hmm. okay Actually, I had two things that you brought up IT. You know, Andy, I went back over the budget letter in April, and we had appropriated $7,000 for upgrades from XP, and I've been meaning to ask you. It's totally just because you had mentioned it. So the $10,000 to upgrade all the computers, that's on top of the computers we've already upgraded? I had rather forgotten that we had done yes, that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we had a lot of, um, we have a lot of ancient machines, a lot of white box machines that, that need to be upgraded. Um, we didn't have um, we didn't have uh, supported software. Um, some of them just <coughs> um, they didn't um, um, they didn't have the basic components that you expect in a machine. My machine didn't have a have a USB port. Um, so, so did we instance, purchase some new machines? Yes. Where we needed. We've already purchased so this, some, so and we'll be purchasing more. It's not just upgrading <coughs> an existing. Yeah, they're replacing right. the machines. But I, right. when I looked back and said, "Oh yeah, we did. We appropriated seven thousand dollars." So I didn't know if that ten was. Yeah, on top I had of remembered that, that but, but I also, I also thought that that was to get, to at least start attacking some of the oldest yes, ones. Yes, yes. And, and but Melissa it wasn't some... intended to be a comprehensive. No, no, certainly not. Wasn't. It, I had just come certainly up. not. And Melissa's been working on that um, okay. as uh, as the months have gone on. Okay, we have one other item. Okay. Colin, you Nothing. had a question. I was going to make a joke. Oh, go so ahead. never mind. We could use now. It. It's okay. All right, Carolyn, no, you have a joke. Th no, <laughs> sorry, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for jokes. Open mic, open mic night. Yeah, <laughs> literally. I hardly get jokes. <laughs> Um, the, the question I was going to ask before I get taken track off the IT is the donation license agreement on the fire station. Uh, that, that's been on my ongoing list, but are we going to address that before he moves out? Uh, yeah, at, at this point, the um, I think as the as the boilerplate will use what was used for the library senior center project. Uh, however, the it's a little uh, difficult at this point because the donor has not come forward. In a public public manner, um, so we can't say that we're executing a donation agreement with um, with the donor because uh, the donor's um, identity is still uh, not revealed. Okay. I, we had talked about that. In order to sign it, we need the donor's name. Hmm. Donor's name. But have you forwarded the the draft over to their representative? I have not had any uh, direct contact with the representatives. Could we? I can well, I, I try think to reach out, but yeah. I, my understanding was that the donor's side was going to be the one to initiate conversation, and that not that we weren't asked to initiate conversation, but in a way, it was we're not initiating the conversations. Um, 
that that this is their project that we really don't have anything to do with it we are the recipients of of this um, donation um, so that kind of makes it difficult it's, it's like it's their timeline it's their it's their project um, when they're ready I'm sure that they're going to reach out to us and say okay we're ready to do this and um, and ask for our well, help that's that's why I'm concerned because they they were saying at the finance committee that the fire chief is saying is projected to start tearing it down at the end of January right well, we need to have an agreement reached and, and certificates of insurance on file and and you know you're only talking a month and a couple months away well then Andy maybe you could talk to the chief and and just tell him that that came up as a concern and because I know he's working directly with the donor mm -hmm. okay project I think that was my question. Did you send over what town council had sent you, Andy, to the fire chief to forward on? I know you sent it to me, but I didn't send it to them. Uh, no, I haven't yet. We could do that because didn't town council have two different two different agreements to review? Okay. So, if you can just talk to the chief about that. Maybe he can just initiate a conversation and then just tell him you'll provide him with it, whatever okay. he needs. Does that sound good? 3.2 Water Department contract. Uh, so this is a uh, this is a consulting contract that the Water Department executed with Callahan Consulting. Uh, you'll recall some months ago, I forget when it was. Now, Paul was in. Paul Refuse was in to talk about uh, SWIMI regulations, the updated uh, um, public drinking water requirements. Um, so this contract had been signed some years, ago, uh, some time ago, um, and uh, they've just invoiced now and can't, can't be paid because it hasn't been approved by the board. So the, uh, the total value of the contract was uh, not to exceed $15,000. So just a motion to approve the contract would be sufficient. I move that we approve the contract with Callahan Consulting. Callahan Consulting. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And, Aye. and just to um, make sure that it's noted. Yes. Just to uh, sort of close the loop, I'm going to ask the board to sign uh, the. Uh, the agreement. Carolyn's not voting on this. Okay. Anything else? Wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got review and sign payroll bills payable. I would make a motion that we review and sign the payroll and the bills payable warrant out of session. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Sue, I did have one other thing I forgot to say during updates. Um, on December 7th uh, at 5 o'clock is the tree lighting ceremony on the Towns and Common. Um, it's a fun event. There's a there's some carols and, you know, Girl Scout singing and tree lighting and all sorts of fun. Good, not wholesome dunking, family fun. Not a dunking booth for a <laughs> No, no, not this time, unfortunately. <laughs> cool. um, however, uh, after the tree lighting ceremony, there's a music program and there's a uh, hobo stew at one of the churches. I believe it's at the Congregational Church this year. <laughs> Okay. It's a nice yes. time. One last quickie. Um, in case people haven't already figured it out, the board is meeting at 6 o'clock now, and that'll be on a, a regular basis. So, mm -hmm. um, so we don't miss, so we don't lose people for the first hour. And um, the hours, town hall is going to be closed? Oh, yes. Uh, obviously, we'll be closed this Thursday for Thanksgiving. Also closed on Friday for the, uh, for the day after Thanksgiving. Um, we'll see what tomorrow brings in terms of in terms of weather. So, um, I know that the senior center and the library have already announced closures at noon tomorrow. 
um, and I believe the schools are dismissing early. It's, as a, well. it's a regular early dismissal day for them anyway. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that would yeah, explain that, wouldn't it? They've got a half day anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Carolyn? Um, I was just going to ask since be brought up on our agenda you know how we have the updates and reports in the beginning now can we be a little sensitive about appointments that we make and not schedule them right at six I feel bad having people sit there wait for us <coughs> um, maybe give us 15 to 20 minutes before we schedule an appointment sure okay because I just feel maybe we'll just look at what the um, agenda has okay and just in the future just okay. kind of being sensitive no, to I, that. I understand it's I understand. habit to put them on at seven yeah I understand. Um, we well, didn't we vote already? We voted yes. Yeah. Have, have a very nice Thanksgiving, yeah. everyone. Drive have a wonderful safely. Thanksgiving. Drive safely. Yes. Be safe. Stay warm tomorrow. Be warm. Be safe. Okay. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn at seven o nine. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Go you. Go on the